Hello and welcome to the next episode of An Issue with Simplex Numerica. Today we will look into the interpolation and approximation stuff of Simplex Numerica by concentrating on the famous cubic spline algorithms. The cubic spline interpolation is a fast, efficient and stable method of data interpolation. The spline interpolation is divided into small subintervals. Each of these subintervals is interpolated by using the third degree polynomial. The polynomial coefficients are automatically chosen by the program to satisfy certain conditions. General requirements are for instance function continuity and, of course, passing through all given points. There could also be additional requirements, function linearity between nodes, continuity of higher derivatives and so on. Let's start with Simplex Numerica. Look how simple it is to use as the built-in wizard that shows how to make a cubic spline from scratch up. Imagine you have just started the program from the desktop. You will see an empty gray background page, like this. We go now to the right upper icon to call the wizard. Then we will click on the cubic spline button. Let's follow its balloons. You could select a chart here, but not yet, because we will load an existing evaluation. To load a sample evaluation, please click on the next page arrow button. In the Chart Explorer, please click on Data 2 to make this graph active or as called the current one, respectively. Click Next. Please click the icon Numerical Algorithms to view the appropriate properties. Click Next. Please perform 1. Algorithm, set to interpolation, then 2. Interpolation, set to cubic spline, then 3. Finally, please click on the button Recalc. You can see that the graph has been changed from a polyline with straight lines to a rounded smoother curve, the so-called cubic spline. If you like, then you can do the same with data 1 and data 3 or we can use instead the pull-down menu to select an algorithm. Let's try this. Click Next. Please select here the appropriate algorithm for the current graph. Finally, press Recal, also here in the ribbon bar. Let's do it. If a graph does not have assigned to a special algorithm like the cubic spline, then you can click on an already established one and then use the ribbon bar icon for assigned to all graphs. Back from the wizard, we will now edit our own data manually, and then followed by a cubic spline interpolation. We are going to use the new inbuilt spreadsheet from Simplex Numerica to put some arbitrary data in. The then select a range around our data and clicking on the thumbnail physics icon to generate a default chart, but already with our data. Then we will fit our data with a cubic spline algorithm. Meanwhile, everything not just new to us.
So that's it for today. I wish you a nice day.